welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go and on the mound for Tampa Bay in this one. Ryan Pepio. He's a guy that's going to come right after hitters. I mean, he's not trying to fool them. He's going to pitch the contacts, not worry about it. He trusts his defense behind him, and he's not going to mess around with a whole bunch of different offerings. Only three pitches in the repertoire, so he knows he'll have to work in all three effectively and probably pitch backwards sometimes just to make sure this lineup isn't picking up on too many patterns. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. The pitch. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And we are underway. One and out. Riding to the plate. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Everything came together for him. Nice line drive to the pull the side base. right there, but he didn't no spin way. off of it. That's Johnny the key. Well. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Nolan Shonowell, the next to hit for the Angels. And no, that's, that's off it. the inside edge. 1 and 0. Oh. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And That's another ball. ball. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Two and one's the count. And he deals. Good nope, eye in that in. spot. Righty delivers. Yeah. That one catches the zone. Now three and two. Full count. Runner at first with no outs here. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, getting a good look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Here's Mike Trout. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. 0 1. Just oh. missed. 1 and 1. Gets him to chase after that one. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Right-hander kicks, deals. Oh. And the one-two misses to even the count. It's a good take. Two two now. Headed down the line. On the move. 
Feeling for the wall, makes the catch and foul ground. Runner tags up for second. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Two outs and one in scoring position. And it's one and one. Here comes a pitch. That's in there. And a count one and two. Chop to the right side. Out number three. Angels lead one. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Tropicana Field, and getting the call here, Griffin Canning power pitcher he's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger the and fastball will beat the them race. here's the catcher the Yandy Diaz Yandy. Yeah. the wind of the pitch misses well. just off the outside edge I One think that ball, was a no strike break. A little bit Ball. high. And now 2-0. Two, oh. two balls, no strikes. That one That's missed. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Yeah. That one in there across the letters. In the air, right field. Moniak makes the catch, and there's one down. Now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. They get the out on a Rosarena. And there are two down. Batting third. The right fielder, Richie. Richie Palacios will hit next. There's a strike. Swings and misses, struck him out. Down in order, go the Rays. We played an inning, no score. New inning getting started. It's Aaron Hicks now. The designated hitter. Hicks goes six foot one, hitting fifth in today's lineup. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. Sliced hard, but foul. Well, a nice day off for him, not having to jog out to the outfield. Gets to be in the DH spot. Be curious to see how he keeps himself in a rhythm 
not playing defense. The 0 2. Bounce to the right. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. He's safe. Brandon Drury to the play. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that should be extra bases. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and the Angels take the lead. 1 0. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Mickey Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And that's in there at the knees. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. The Rosarena makes the grab. One away. Batting it. The catcher, number 14, Logan. Ohoppy. Logan Ohoppy, the next to hit for the Angels. Just Outside, missed. And a pitch. Right. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Struck him out looking. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. And now the shortstop, Zach Neto. Check yeah. swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Oh, and one. Runner at second, two down. Kicks and fires. Pitch misses. Got a count, one and two. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Man at second. The shortstop takes the ball. That one misses. And that's ball three. Anthony Rendon on deck for the Angels. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Man on second, two down. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And here it comes. So now two ball, ball, on and two outs. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty.
That's a bullet, but it goes foul. And a pitch. And that's, that's a little up, bit high. First and second, two down. Next no offering is downstairs. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. At the belt and fires. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Next one just misses, and it's three and two. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. In the box, lays off for ball one. Next no, offering no. is down low. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. And that's in for a strike. Base is loaded. Two down. Big swing and a miss. Two and two's the count. Two two now. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Two outs. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And the right hander deals. And another ball. Mike Trout up next for the Angels. On the ground, right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Angels get one on this double. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now in Leading Tampa Bay, the bottom Reds. of the second. Isaac Paredes now. Paredes. Hey, come on now, Tampa. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Yeah. That pitch gets the corner. That's strike one. And downstairs. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone. So if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Line drive, base hit, right center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Batting. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the ball right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Harold Ramirez at the dish. That one called the strike. 1 1. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. 
He decides to hold on to it, and that leaves them with runners at first and second. First and second, no outs. Curtis Mead next to hit for the Rays. How many times have we seen an early at bat change the course of a game? It happens every night in baseball, and maybe it happens again here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Wow. Kicks and deals. Slap the other way, foul. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a swing and a miss. And that is a big first out. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to come in early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. And stepping in is the speedy Jose Caballero. In the air, out towards right center. Brings it in. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making plays on the run, and we saw it right there. That's a player you want patrolling center field. Someone who can attack the ball off the bat. And now it's Jose Siri. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One on count. Look for him to be aggressive here. You got some runners on base, an opportunity to catch a mistake and put some runs up on the board. Close, but call the ball. And it's 2 0. Oh. Two on, two outs. That catches the corner. Next offering upstairs. Nico Goodrum next to bat for Tampa. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3-2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3-1, he'll do it again 3-2. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. In the air right side. He's under it. He's got it. And the inning is over. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We play two full. It's the Angels one, the Rays nothing. And we're back. Here's some real power at the plate. Mike Trout. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The right-hander back to work. Gets the outside corner with that one. You know, these angels showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Misses just off Two the one. outside edge. I think that was a strike. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Calls it in, and there's one away. The left fielder, number three, Taylor. And Ward. now it's the Angels' cleanup batter, Taylor Ward. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Out to center. 
Siri racing over to make the catch. Up next for the Angels, the designated hitter, Aaron. Aaron Hicks in the plate. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some yeah. quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Oh, and one. Two down, nobody on. That yeah. one's in there. That's strike two. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because that teams are really ball. aggressively building their bullpens. Two outs, base is empty. Break. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Angels held in check, but they're on top. One, nothing. And welcome back and to the ballpark. The Nico Reds. Goodrum up here. Trying to pick up his Nico. first knock in the big leagues. Goodrum. The pitch. Up the middle. Throws to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Yandy Diaz now. He's all for one. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Line drive, and that's just foul. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Ground ball to the right side, and that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Now it's Randy Arozarena. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Swings through that one for strike one. Zero balls, one strike. The pitch. Swings and lines one towards the gap. And there's a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Back-to-back -back singles. Right recognized the break on that pitch early, and that allowed him to keep his front shoulder in. You know, it's easy to bail on those front door breaking balls, but a great job right there. Love the travel, then unloading a nice balanced swing. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Richie Palacios. No, that meant that's and that's ball. off the inside edge. And that's ball one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. And a ball, good eye there. Up. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Raised down by a run here in the last half of the third. That ball, one misses. Yeah. Three and O. Oh. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Isaac Paredes in the on-deck circle. Down the middle for a strike. And it's three and one. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. And the pitch. Right side. Moniak gets there. He's under it. Drops into the glove. The batter, the third baseman. He's oh, right Next to bat will be the Rays four hitter, Isaac Paredes. Fastball ah. for a strike. 
It's 0 and 1. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. That's ripped into the outfield. Trout brings it in with a nice running grab. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. Three innings complete. It's the Angels one, the Rays nothing. Back here at Tropicana Field, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, the Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury. Pepio back to work. Hit hard. That gets through. So a man on base to start the inning. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Next to hit, Mickey Moniak. Fly to left his first time. Fouled off. He was late. That catches the zone for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Kevin Kelly warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Maton getting cranked up as well. Up and oh. in. Going to count one and two. Good eye right there. Here's a 2 2. And another ball. And that one ripped into right. Palacios falls it in for the out. One down. The catcher, number 14. Logan Ohapi. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. Caught looking his first time up. And a foul ball. Man at first, one away. Right to the plate. And one oh. and two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball. Pitch after pitch in that at bat. And evidently there was no answer for it. And the batter will be the shortstop. Zach Neto. He reached out a walk his first time. Right down to shoot, and that is strike one. The shortstop takes the ball. That one misses. Two and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Two outs. And that's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. 
Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, yeah, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going Anthony outside of what he's looking for up there. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Just missed. missed. One and up. First and second, two down. Top half of inning number four. Right through there for a strike. There's a strike. Fly ball down the line. Tracks it down for the out. And that is that. Angels strand a couple. They lead it 1 0. Bottom of the fourth. Now here is Harold Ramirez. The first baseman, Harold Ramirez. A wide of the pitch. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Moniak makes the catch. And there's one away. Now that second baseman. So up next, Curtis, Curtis Mead. Mead. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Rendon calls it in, two away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Jose Caballero next to hit for the Rays. Just oh. missed. 1 0. Pitch That's misses outside. Now 2 0. Oh. Two down, nobody on. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That just oh, misses, outside. and it's 3-0. and oh. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. All Top right. of the zone for a strike, and the count is 3-1. and one. In the air, left field down the line. Grabs it on the run, and the inning is over. Pitching change here, Kevin Kelly. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. So in now for the Three Angels, the Nolan Shonowell. Nolan Shonowell. And he deals. Foul ball there. Kelly in his second season. He features a four seam fastball, a curb, a slider, and he works in a changeup. That one fouled off. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Right-handed reliever spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. In the air, out towards left center. That one gets down for a hit. The center fielder, and now batting down. Mike Trout. Mike. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Ball That's one, ball. no strikes. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter low average but high slug. 
Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. And there's a foul ball. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little run around the move. Swing and a miss. Go to second. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Just no, misses miss. with that one. 1 and 2. Good eye oh. in that spot. He's really tightening up his hitting two zone with two strikes. strikes here. I love it. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Bottom of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Jose Siri. The line of the pitch. Inside, just missed. And another ball. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. That misses. And now 3-0. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Inside corner, that's a strike. And now 3-1. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Right-hander kicks, deals. Rip to short. Fires over to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Next is the designated hitter, Nico Goodrum. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. And that one wrapped foul. The Rays down by a run. Last half of inning number five. Ball one, one there. One. Not no close with that one. And a count two and one. And the righty deals. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count's even at two. And that oh, just misses. 
One down, base is empty. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty delivers. Hard hit left side. On to first. Old man for the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. The catcher number two. Yandy Diaz. Now a chance for Yandy Diaz. One for two. Yeah, and that's in there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league one average, and, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Bounced up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. Over to first. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Rays held in check here. They still trail 1-0. Top six. Here's Aaron Hicks. <laughs> Kelly back to work. Yeah. Strike on the outside. And it's a one one. one Bullpen movement for the Rays. Tyler Alexander warming up for manager Kevin Cash. And a pitch. That's oh. off the mark. And it's one and two. One, two. Got him swinging on the curveball. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Digging in, Brandon Drury. Base is empty, one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Right Swing here. and a miss. 0 oh 2. Oh 0 oh 2 now. And One it ball, skips in the dirt. O2 oh, curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Let's go, and now two ball. and two. Switch. Caught him looking for the K. The right fielder, number Mickey 16. Moniak, Mickey the next to hit for the Angels. Moniak. Just missed. Ball. Next pitch downstairs, and the count is 2-0. And here it comes. Right. Good job to fight that one off. Yeah. 
And down on strikes he goes. Angels retired one, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Bottom of the six, and, and stepping in for the Rays, Rays Randy or Rosarena. The line to kick the pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. They get the out on a Rosarena. Now batting the right fielder, Richie. And now the right fielder, Richie Palacios. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Home team down a run here in the bottom of the sixth. And a foul ball. Here comes the pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Gets a piece and stays alive. One out, base is empty. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Rendon flashes the leather on the run and catch. Now batter, the third baseman. Now the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Fall off foul. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. That one is upstairs. Way high there. And the count is two and two. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. pitch Got him. and it's a one two three inning nothing doing for Tampa they're down one nothing Ben Wurtvet gets the ball now pretty tight game so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here got to do his best to keep the score right where it is Here's the Angels catcher, Logan O'Hoppy, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Logan O'Hoppy. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That one's in there, and that's strike one. Bounce, and that got the pitcher. Not in time, he legs it out. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. Rips that one to right. Palacios pulls it down. 
Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just oh, frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe the next time off, he'll find a hole. Anthony. Back to the top Anthony. of the Angels lineup. Here's the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. Runner on the go. Line to left. And that gets down for a base hit. Ohapi headed for the plate. Relay throw home. He's safe as he gets his hand in. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. So digging in, Nolan Shanowell. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw there. Safe. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. One out and a runner at second. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That one back there, and it's off the wall. Around third. Oh, he throws it away. And in to score the runner from second. Just the careless job of getting it in from the outfield there. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. Alexander gets handed the rock out of the pen and this could be a pretty critical point in this game they're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance now Trout gets a chance to hit and that's outside and that is ball one one out and a runner at second Next pitch is downstairs. Man at second. On the ground to short. Caballero. Fires across the diamond. Got the out. The left fielder, number three, Taylor. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. First nope. pitch oh. just misses. Ball strike right there. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. And that one fouled off. Man on second, two down. Ripped on a line. Siri makes a nice running catch. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Angels three, the Rays nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. Yeah, the batter now, Harold Ramirez. And a pitch. Well, after putting yeah. up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Kicks and fires. That's the ball. Well, these Rays definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. One thing that stands out looking over the numbers is the amount of outs they have on the first pitch of the at-bat. They've given away too many at-bats with easy <laughs> outs. Went too far that time. It's one and two. I'd really like to see him make an adjustment. Get more patient and start waiting for that right pitch. Not just the first pitch. I think that could make a big difference in this one.
Got him looking for the strikeout. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Me nope. in now. Nope. Takes ball one off the plate. One out. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. One you can one. tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting, and right now they just don't have it. That one finds the zone. One and two. The Halos leading by three. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Next Ball. offering is downstairs. Two and two. Punch out there. That's the second out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So two down now, and here is Jose Caballero. And there's the strike. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Oh. And ball one. Right side. Slings to oh. first. Rays retired in order. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They trail it here. Three nothing. Now in Tampa Bay. Now here's Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks. Alexander in his fifth season, 29 years old, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. There's a strike. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. One, two. Down the line. And that's a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Hammer. Base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. He was all over that one. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Man at first. Here's the second baseman, Brandon Drury. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Kicks and deals. Hicks runs. That one pushed foul. Pitch oh. misses, and the count is one and two. Wouldn't chase no, that it. time. The 2-2. Two -two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. And they'll do it again. The pitch. The other way, jumps, but it's off his glove. They get one to first, not in time. Great effort there.
And next for L.A., Mickey Moniak. Foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. The batter, the catcher. And here's the Logan. catcher, Logan Ohapi. Oh, one for three. The mark there, ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. The pitch. Just no, off the makes, outside the edge. And yeah, that's ball two. Two and oh. Runners at first and second with one gone. And we're at the top of the eighth. Next ball, pitch misses. And that's ball three. And it's ball nope, four. Ball he missed four. down Runner low. A real bad time for a walk. You're trailing in this ball game, trying to keep things close. They've been in a difficult spot, and things aren't getting any easier. Here's the shortstop at the play. Zach Neto. This is again five in a row. Well, he's already in some trouble and falling behind in the count makes it even worse then you've got to throw the ball over more of the plate and that's where they can really do damage against a guy like this one out base is full and a good eye there pitch that is nope, ball, ball four, four. and that'll bring home a run he's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall the settings definitely getting away from him now it's Anthony Rendon now a screamer into the outfield Nabs it, run attacks from third. He'll score on the sack fly, and the lead is up to five. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. Sean Armstrong into the game. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but... He's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Now the number two hitter, Nolan Shonwell. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Yeah. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Can't get there, and it deflects off him. The run comes in from second, and it's now a six-run lead. Comes through with the RBI. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. First and second, two down. And now the center fielder, Mike Trout. Now to short, Caballero. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Three runs, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Angels six, the Rays nothing.
Bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Jose Siri. And the pitch. And that's a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Adam Simber appears to be getting loose. Oh one one now. And a swing and a miss. Canning still out no there ball. to pitch Two the sets. eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Up next for Tampa Bay. So now here's the DH, Nico Goodrum. Goodrum. Just uh -uh. missed. Oh. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy That's like this ball. because he's so competitive. And the righty deals. This to center field. Trout settles under it, and he makes the catch. The throw is wild, and it gets away. The catcher number two, Yandy Diaz. So the batting order turns over, and now the catcher for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. Outside, ball. The Angels up big in this one. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. That's out to center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw into third. Not in time. He's safe. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it That's great, it still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Runners are at the corners, one away. Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, he just threw that one fastball one. by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Right-hander kicks deals. Two that two. one not close. Two and two. Two on, one out. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Makes the grab on the run. Runner tags for home. He scores on the sack fly. It's 6-1. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Griffin Cannon departs, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Adam Simber will take over here. He last pitched two days ago. So up next, the right Richie field. Palacios. Richie Palacios. And first offering is fouled off. Simber is ready. And there's oh, a ball. Comes yeah. up empty. That's strike two. One and two is the count.
Way high with that one. And the count is even two and two. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Ward raging back towards the wall. Makes the catch up against the wall. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Angels six. The Rays one. All set to start the ninth in this one. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Taylor Ward. Ward. Armstrong back to work. Fastball for a strike. Going one. That one down the line, foul. and it goes just foul. Right handed reliever gets a piece, and it stays 0 2. And that's down and away. Three. That one that misses. Ball. And it's two and two. Righty delivers. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Palacios settles under this one. And there's one down. Now that is. Designated hitter, Aaron. Now it's the DH Hicks. for the Angels, Aaron Hicks. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Bases empty, one away here at the top of the ninth. On the ground to third. Sends it across the first, and Hicks is out. Now batter, second baseman, Brandon. And here is Brandon Drury. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Right through there for a strike. Foul ball there. And a pitch. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Offense held a check there. Onto the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Angel six. The Rays one. And we're back. Now the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. The pitch. Splits the plate. 0-1. Oh, he must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at-bat. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Ward makes the play, and there's one down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the, the process. Baseman. He did everything Hello. right, right there. Nothing to show Bro, for it. Mirai. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Ramirez oh. in the box now as he leaves that one up high. One out. The Halos leading by five. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. They oh. say you went. One and one. And he deals. Just oh. missed. Two balls, one strike. The two one. Just no, missed. missed.
He swings and fouls one off. And there's ball Take four. Ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but Up now at least he gets a day. fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. Ball. One and one. Come on, Ray, let's go. And Ray, that's Ray. in for a strike. Next offering oh, upstairs. Here comes a pitch. They tried oh. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Oh. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Stays alive. In the air, foul off first. Drifts towards it. And there are two outs. Now batting. The shortstop. Jose. Caballero. Last chance for the Rays, and now Jose Caballero. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. On the ground, right side, Drury. Now the throw to first on the run, and that'll do it. Canning with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.